Hi, this is for my friends in the 3D collectors community and also the Quest 3 community. So I've been having a lot of fun digitizing my 3D Blu-rays and watching them on the headset and it's spectacular. It's worth the work. So this is what you need. You need a 3D Blu-ray disc and you need a Blu-ray drive. It can be internal or external, doesn't matter, okay? Put the disc in, load it up, there you go. Now, if you're like me, I have an app for watching movies. It'll probably pop up. It's good for uh, second guessing. You can check to see if you have that uh, disc in the right disc, but get rid of it, okay. What you're gonna wanna work with is this program over here, Make MKV, okay? It's free for a while. I remember it hitting me up and asking for a, a, a small donation. Well worth the money. This is a terrific program. You can do a lot of things with this program. All right, it sees your disc, but it hasn't opened it. So go up here and select Open Disc, then slide over to your drive and open it up. Now it's going to really get in there and open up all the submenus with all the different titles, okay? This list can be a little imposing when you see it. It hasn't come up yet. Okay, that's the list, all right? There could be a lot of titles. A title means it's a whole complete version of the movie. It could be a title for a foreign language. I use this method. I start from the top. I find the largest gigabyte count. That is usually the 3D copy in English. So the first one to come down, you click that. You're going to want to open and work with that one. Unclick all the other titles. You don't want to confuse your file. Your file is really only going to be one title that you're going to work on over there. Okay. So now you go in here. This is the most important step in the whole process. You got to click this box. This box puts the 3D information into the file. You don't click this box, the file won't have 3D. Okay. So click it up. The next thing that I work on, I only take usually the first two um, audio options. So I, I click that, click that. They're both in English. It seems to cover the basis. I unclick everything else. Now this might get really crazy depending on how many subtitles and how many versions of different languages. It could go on for half a page, but unclick everything else except those first four things at the top. Otherwise, you're going to clutter up your file or you'll end up with subtitles through your whole movie. All right, you click the Make NKV box on the right-hand side. It's going to ask you to make a folder. You make the folder, and it goes to work. Okay, you'll get a reminder down at the bottom where where, where it's going to put this thing. So, okay. On my computer, it uses Drive E and a folder videos. My videos. So I go there. A video. There's our Journey to the Center of the Earth folder. We open that up. And that's our file, okay? That is the file that you're going to eventually get over to your, your headset. So what I did is create a library on an SSD drive. So these are all the 3D Blu-rays that I've digitized already. So that's home base. So I take this file that I just created, and I want to add it to the home base library. So that takes, uh, depending upon uh, how big the movie is and uh, how the quality that they encoded it with, this can take from five to 10 minutes just to transfer this file. They're not huge. Usually they're around 15, 17 gigabytes. Sometimes they're 30. Uh, okay, so it's now here in the library, okay? So this is how I transport it. That's a Type-C USB drive, and that's an adapter so that I can use a regular RSB to load it up from my computer. Okay, so we go to my library. I find Journey to the Center of the Earth in the library. This is my, okay, this is, this is the C, this is the USB-C drive. You see, I have two movies on there already. What we want to do, obviously, is put the, the new movie onto there. So you copy that over. Like that. Okay, great. Copy. Make sure you copy, not move. You move it, and then you erase that at the end. You're going to throw the one that you put on there away. You know, this is your permanent copy in the library. Okay, so that's done. Okay, 
and now it'll be on that little C drive. There it is. Okay. So I got three. Still got quite a lot of room. You could really load this up for a trip or, uh, you know, the beauty, the real beauty of the Quest 3 is that it's standalone. Right there, right there, I could watch, four, I could load up four or five movies if I had to take a long airplane flight. And all you have to do is charge up your thing every once in a while to, to keep, keep the show going. And, you know, it's terrific. I can't tell you. It beats the hell out of a 10-inch screen, you know, beyond somebody's seat. Okay, you need an app inside the headset. This is the app I use for XVR. It's very good. It's supposedly the best. You have to pay for it. Uh, but I, it's never given me any trouble at all. So that's it. That's the whole story. And, uh, yeah, take that seriously. You don't want to screw it up for everybody. I wish you all uh, happy viewing for your movies.